This is session two, send a sequence from Premiere Pro to Audition. In this session, I want to show how to send a sequence from Premiere Pro to Audition and then how to send a completed mix from Audition back to Premiere Pro. This overview discusses the CC version of both software. There's a movie later in this chapter that discusses how to send Premiere Pro CS6 files to Audition CC. Dynamic linking is the ability to move files between applications without rendering them first. This is a key benefit of working within the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. However, in order to see the video from your Premiere project, you need to change the workspace inside Audition. And you can send your final mix back from Audition as a monofile, a stereo pair, a surround mix, or even individual stems. This overview demonstrates sending the completed stereo mix. The chapter on exporting illustrates other options. So let me show you how to send a sequence from Premiere Pro CC to Audition CC, then send the completed mix back from Audition to Premiere Pro. By the way, in this example, we're just going to pretend to do the mix. Here's the sequence inside Premiere that we want to send over to Audition for a mix. It's got multiple tracks of video and multiple tracks of audio. So what do we do? Well, it's not obvious because it's not in the File command. It's in the Edit command. Go to Edit, Edit in Adobe Audition. If we had a single clip selected, say we had noise in the clip, we could send the clip over to Audition. In this case, we want to send a sequence, which is this entire sequence we have here in the timeline, and select it. It gives me a chance to give this a name. We'll stay with the name of the sequence. It also allows me to specify where this file is going to be stored. I've created a folder on my second drive inside Premiere Projects called Adobe Audition Interchange, and my projects will show up inside there. I want to send the entire sequence as opposed to just the work area, and I add audio handles. At a minimum, you should have five second handles. 10 seconds is probably something your audio engineers would like, so somewhere between 5 and 10 seconds. This checkbox is critical. You must export preview video because it's the video that tells Audition how to get it back to Premiere. If you're exporting files from Premiere to Audition, the top checkbox must be checked. I don't generally render audio clip effects. I'm going to do that in Audition. I don't really care about the clip volume metadata. I'm going to do that in Audition. You can add these if you want, but I do want to have it open in Adobe Audition. So I generally set my handles to five seconds, check the top and bottom check boxes, and leave the middle two unchecked. Then click OK. What it's doing now is it's exporting all of the video clips into a single video file so that that single video clip can be sent over to Audition because remember Audition only supports one video clip at a time. Then it processes the rest of the files, fires up Audition, loads Audition, and then boom, there's the file. And that was done in real time. I'll go up to here, scroll down just a bit so I can see what I've got to work with, and there is all the different clips all laid out, and it remembered to bring in the fades that I added inside Premiere. Notice at the very top is the video file, except I can't see the video file. So we'll go up to the workspace and switch it from my editing workspace, which is where we've spent most of our time so far, to edit audio to video. This is a standard workspace that Adobe ships with Audition. And now I can see my video file. If I click here, I can see all the different clips that are inside the file. And if I were to drag back and forth, I'd be able to hear it. Let's pretend that we've just spent time putting a mix together. We're going to be talking about mixing in a future chapter. And now we need to get it back to Premiere. Go up to the multi-track menu. And notice there's a choice inside multi-track that says export to Adobe Premiere Pro. It says, what do you want to call it? It names it after the existing sequence and just says AU for Audition Tracks, and it makes it an XML file, which is an interchange file. Stores it in the same interchange folder, allows you to specify the sample rate, and when you're working with video, 48,000 is the correct sample rate to use. You can now export each track as a stem. We'll talk about that in the exporting chapter. I don't want to do that. I want to mix down the entire session. And I can create a mono file, a stereo file, or a 5.1 file. I want to create a stereo file and have it automatically open in Premiere Pro. When I click Export, it does a mix down of all of my clips, fires up Premiere, and says, OK, where do you want to put it? 
you can either copy it to a new track or specify exactly which track you want it on. I generally put the mix on a new audio track and click OK. Now, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there is my mix. I just need to turn off all these other tracks to make them inaudible, stay just with the mix, and my project is done. The ability to quickly send files between Premiere Pro and Audition makes the process of editing, repairing, and mixing audio a lot easier because you can use the power of Premiere for video editing, then move to the flexibility of Audition for audio editing. Thanks for watching.